Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another brand new episode of Public Freak Out Videos. Tonight on this action-packed episode, we'll be taking a look at some more crazy and entitled Karens who are caught on camera freaking out in public. We have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, so make sure to slap a like on this video and let's jump right into it. And up first tonight is a video of a woman smacking a phone from a young girl's hands after they found themselves in the middle of a disagreement. The girl who is standing there with the other young girls tells the woman that they have everything on recording and will be contacting the authorities. Let's take a look. Your business. Oh! Oh, I just got that on video, girly. I've never swung at anyone here, and I've been here so many times, and I've never even considered touching someone. You smacked my phone, girly. You're, you're recording me. Oh my god, maybe don't record patients without their consent if you don't like it. Or leave. leave. What would Jesus do? Would Jesus smack my phone out of my hand? I don't think so. Yeah. And next up is a video of a crazy Karen who is on a bus and she thinks that she had overheard somebody call her an offensive name. When confronted by some of the passengers, she started to act like a child by making faces and screaming at the top of her lungs. The crazy woman almost gets into a fight with one of the passengers as they try to get her off the bus. Karen does not make that easy for them though and she continues to insult them. Let's take a look at this crazy clip. Excuse me? And that's what you call a crazy bitch. And coming up next, we jump into the middle of a massive shouting match between multiple neighbors in a usually quiet apartment complex. Now, this whacked out Karen had actually started screaming at her neighbors after they had called her out for being disruptive. Because of this, the crazy whacked out lady starts to freak out on them, leading to a massive altercation. After feeling like her partner may be out cheating on her with another woman, this next lady tracks down her man to get to the bottom of it. She manages to locate him and finds him at a Walmart and actually catches him with another woman. Because of this, the couple are quick to get into a heated argument with one another, which causes a massive scene inside of the busy Walmart store. Let's play the clip from the very beginning and see how this insane situation came to be. Take them off. Take them off. This what you do. You finesse. You finesse. You finesse. 
you a dirty man. Not in my building. Not in my building. I'm here bringing up my food. You know? And this next woman is in the middle of working out at the gym when she is approached and confronted by the gym's local Karen. Now Karen is actually upset that the woman is using the equipment that she wants to be using. The woman tells this Karen that there is more of the same equipment on the other side of the gym, but Karen is not satisfied because she wants the equipment that this woman is using. Let's take a look. Do you see the 20? Yeah. Do you see those other dumbbells? Honey. Okay, cool. Are you serious? There's an entire gym. Like, use the entire gym. Yeah, but okay. nobody here is using the 27 Okay, and nobody here was in this area until you walked wow. in. Wow. Wow is right. You know, I can go complain Go right complain. Now. Okay. Go for it. Because I'm using one dumbbell. And he's going to come and tell you to use it for me. <laughs> And coming up next, we feature a video of a man who just caught two people stealing an Amazon package right from his doorstep. After being confronted and questioned by the man, the pair of thieves are filmed trying to lie their way out of the awkward situation. The two men go on to say that someone had told them to drive over to his address and take the packages from his porch. Left even more confused, the man behind the camera continues to question the two men, making for a very frustrating situation. Let's check it out. Somebody said to take this box off of that porch. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm here and there's a guy telling me that why take a box off my porch. Okay, what's your name? No, what's your name? My name is... And what? I'm asking you... Wait, wait, you were taking a box off of my porch and you, and you don't want to give me your name. I told you I'm... No, I'm I want your full you name. Like I want your... Then what? I'm you, well, I'm I'm here. I'm suspicious like, that you're, you're suspicious. Somebody sent me here to collect their box. You're telling me that I don't know this. You don't trust me. A guy with a twenty-two thousand dollar car. Pro and probably we in the wrong I, I don't know if this car costs five dollars. I don't know anything about a car. Why would you take a box that's addressed to that person that's on that porch probably, off of that porch? Probably. It's not coming from that porch. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand that. He said go to this address. There's a box over there. Pick it up for me. That's what he told me. Yes, this guy here, this guy here took the box off of our porch and he's got a car full of other boxes. These are my boxes. They're your boxes. Of course. Why are they your boxes? Like, you know what? I'm going to go get Freddy and I'll be back. I'll yeah, you're going to get Freddy. You're going to get Freddy. Great. And coming up next is a video of a woman who is following a Karen who is threatening to call the police on her children who is simply just having a fun time playing with each other at a McDonald's restaurant. Karen is filmed telling the mother that her children should not be so loud and begins to get aggressive with her. The two are then quick to find themselves in the middle of a screaming match, causing a massive scene outside. A random passerby overhears all of the commotion that is happening between the pair and comes over to try and de-escalate the situation. Let's play the clip and take a look at how this frustrating situation comes to an end. You're gonna do what then? You're gonna do what? You're gonna call the cops on my kids for playing in a McDonald's? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. It is playing. They're playing in a kid's area. Just because you're middle aged and have no kids and no family doesn't mean. You're screaming in the bathroom. I can hear they're them kids. in the they're bathroom. They're playing. Hey, Lower hey, it. Hey, hey. Lower it down. No, they're hey. kids. They don't have the Please. right to take over the whole restaurant. They do. They're no, kids. They Get out. It's not okay. It is okay. It's not okay for kids to scream so loud that the people on the complete other side of the restaurant They're happy. Cannot enjoy Why are you themselves? upset that kids are happy? That's not it. Yeah, that is it. No, but I'm just trying to enjoy the restaurant too. I understand. No, I don't. I'm not sure you I'm not do. Say, I'm not saying both sides, any, any side is right. But don't you think the restaurant's for everyone? I do. I do. So I should You're be, trying to make it just for you. Me, I'm talking to him. No. You're trying to make it just I'm for you and in dictating everyone. what everyone else has everyone. to do. Everyone. I'm trying to make it for everyone. But I'm leaving so your kids can be happy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye then. Next up, we jump right into the middle of a heated altercation between a fast food worker and an entitled male Karen. Our video features a man who is filmed blowing up at a fast food restaurant worker because he cannot get what he wants. Because of this, the male Karen starts to lash out and begins to scream at the young worker. His voice gets louder and louder when the young employee does not give in to this man's entitlement. Let's take a look at this clip. Well, they just give me the tenders then. Take my credit card then. 
You have two choices. Give me the tender thing. This next Karen is filmed entering a pharmacy without a mask and starts to lash out when someone decides to confront her about the situation. When questioned about why she has chosen not to wear one, Karen turns around and begins to insult the man as she calls him self-centered. After some aggressive back and forth between both parties, Karen decides that she is going to one-up the man behind the camera and attempts to cough into the man's face. Let's play the clip and see what happens next. You're putting all these employees at risk. You're putting all the people that, you know, this is, especially because this is a pharmacy. Which means that people that come in here are, are sick. Yeah. But you don't you don't feel any guilt. You don't feel bad about this. You don't you don't worry, because it's it's just your world. It's only it'll, although yep, you care it's about. My world. Shut up. That's all you care about is just yes. you. Yes. Just you. You don't have a single concern about anybody else. Okay. You need to stop. No. I'm asking you for just the basic decency of caring about another person. What? Go away. No, what are you going to do? You're self-centered trying to control Self-centered, man. You're, you're the one putting everybody at risk. Do you just breathe on me? Look at that. Like, no rule applies. You don't even park in the parking lot. I intend to. Oh, good. I filmed everything. I didn't come near you. Look at that. You don't even put the cart back. And up next is a clip of a man who gets furious when he realizes that he is being recorded by a customer. The man kept shouting at the customer who was at his gym, Fitness Central. He kept telling the customer over and over again to get out of his establishment after she had accused him of harassing her. The man kept insulting the woman, blaming her for being a nuisance. Let's take a look at this crazy wild clip. Go ahead and record. You are in my office. You have no right to do this. Okay. Record. Put it out there. Customers have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. When you do not do what you're supposed to do, Include it's not my fault. Include the name of your Get gym. out of my office. Include the name of your gym. Fitness Central. Fitness Central mm -hmm. does not condone bad behavior. Okay. We do not condone bullying. Mm -hmm. We do not condone nonsense. But you're rude to your customer. No, we don't count you as a customer so what because what you are doing is insane. Then refund my money. Get out. Refund my money. Seriously, you in my office bullying me? Are you f***ing kidding me? This is gold. Get the f*** out! You're gonna see your I f***ing said it! Get the f*** out! Keep going. Okay? Keep you going. think you can f***ing bully me? I'm not bullying you. Me? Whose voice is up? You're, You're gonna, gonna bully me? In my office? This is gold. Continue. Put it wherever you want to put it. You do not get to be a nuisance and get away with it. And up next, we have a clip of a crazy entitled Karen who does not want to pay her contractors a deposit before they start the work that they are assigned. The woman kept shouting that she will pay after they finish the job because she does not trust them. The old lady kept screaming over and over and called the men crooks because they refused. Let's take a look at this clip. They can't give $2,600. Read the estimate, Sarah. That was, the first bill was totally different than this bill. I pay you no. after you're finished because I don't trust you. Because I it's told you that you have a deadline. It's I told deadline. you that I had a deadline. Okay. okay, and now you're just pulling out Why? because of two thousand dollars. What kind of a person are you? You're a crook. This next man was walking down the street minding his own business when he was approached by a whacked out crazy lady who is seen holding a dog. The woman who looks crazy keeps following the man around harassing him so he pulls out his phone and begins to record her. The man starts to question the woman as to whether or not she even owns the dog that she is holding. This triggers the woman as she is filmed throwing the furry friend at the man. Now I won't show the dog being thrown but I can thankfully say that the dog was not injured. Let's take a look. Why are you holding the dog like that? What? <laughs> bro, you got me in the middle of the street, bro. Yeah, Hobson, don't nobody listen to Hobson. Oh, they don't. Back up. <laughs> See these rings? I'm rich. Exactly. Exactly. What do you have, love in your life? 
Right, took your mom hey, nah, for and your real, sister just, and your brother. Do they really listen, love you? No, nah, listen, I feel I bad really for you. I really took your sister and your mother and your brother and do they really love you? Back up, back up. It doesn't matter what's up. What do you, you want to do? Utah? What the fuck is wrong with you? Back up, bro. Back up, bro. Weirdo. Whoa, back up. This is not your fucking dog. <laughs> this is not your dog no more. I got a video of everything. Exactly. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. What's your name? You're going to jail. I don't give a I've what you have. Stop little. touching me, bro. Back up. And up next is a video of Karen, the cyclist, who was filmed arguing with someone who was walking along the street with his dog. The crazy woman follows and gets frustrated with him because he was in her way. She starts to follow him everywhere before blocking him from going around her. She kept insisting that the man was not supposed to be walking his dog in the bike lane and starts to lose it. The situation got so bad that the only way the man could get away from this Karen was by running around her. Let's check it out. I know oh, I don't yeah, need you're to. Oh yeah, you're a pedestrian. You get to do whatever you want. You really make me laugh for that. Miss, seriously. No, I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I'm just telling you to get your dog out of the way. There's something wrong with that. You understand? No, it's not. Yeah. What's wrong with it? What's wrong you're with my right to have a bike lane? What's wrong? What's wrong right. with my right to have a bike lane? to disagree, all right? No, not disagree. Yeah. Next up, we feature a video of a man who is being filmed shouting at a cashier after they had started filming the Entitled Man's meltdown. Moments earlier, the Entitled customer had actually entered the store without a mask and was refused service. Because of this, him and his wife started to lose their cool at the staff. Feeling mistreated, the pair of Karens start to belittle the employee before going on to say that they're calling the police on the worker. I will give you the right to videotape me. That's okay, today. now when the cops come, I'm telling you, you can't videotape me. Alright. Okay. Alright. We'll see how they feel about you not wearing a mask. You're not going to force me to wear a mask if I got health issues. It's called the Americans with Disability Act, stupid. Shut up. You make me shut up, mother. Make me shut up. Make me shut up. So what's up? Stupid. stupid. You know what? Let me call the cops because I'm going to have you yeah. arrested, though. Yeah. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. That doesn't matter. Okay. I told him to stop. Yeah. I told him I don't give him a... Okay. Okay. He keeps he keeps filming me. You're supposed to get out. See what he's telling me? Do you see? Do see what he's telling me? He keeps antagonizing. And you told me you told me on videotape you told me to come yes. back at four, right? If you want to go ahead. No, no, no. I'm, no. I'm gonna give you my manager's no. name and I'm gonna collect. I want this guy's name too. And up next is a video of a Burger King which appears to be going up in flames. A Burger King customer has exited the establishment and is now filming the smoke coming out of the windows. The person filming overhears a woman freaking out and starts to film them instead. Now we watch an entitled Karen get out of her car and harass the Burger King staff as she demands a refund immediately. The Burger King employees tell her that that just isn't possible, stating that the restaurant is actually on fire. Karen, being Karen, refuses to accept this excuse and continues to demand the refund.
And up next is a video of a man pushing two boxes of equipment out of a store. The man recording kept following him and stopped him from leaving because he believes that the man is stealing. After being confronted, the alleged thief starts to get aggressive and tells the other man to get out of his way. At one point, the man behind the camera attacked the alleged thief in an attempt to make him drop the stolen goods. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. What you doing, man? You gonna pay for them? They just said you took them, you sold them. No, you need to take that back in there. No, I did I had two returns. You gonna go back in there. I had two returns, bro. You wanna take go back in there and straighten this out. What you mean, bro? Get out of my way. Go back in there and straighten this bro, out. It's already straight now. They said you just took them. No, I didn't. Keep hitting me with that and it's assault, buddy, and you're going to jail, you understand me? Well, if you get out of my way, bro, you start calling my shit. Hey, you keep hitting me. Hey, bro. Get a job like everybody else, brother. Hey, crackhead. Don't fucking come back to Matthews. You got it? And coming up next, we jump into the middle of a massive altercation between golf cart Karen and an annoyed neighbor. The man behind the camera claims that he had started filming after confronting Karen for not picking up after her dog. Karen goes on to tell the man to mind his own business before saying that she has not done anything wrong. Left confused about the situation, the man continues to grill and question her about her actions, in which Karen responds by saying that no one else picks up after their dog, so she shouldn't have to either. Let's take a look at this heated Karen clip. You, you can go. How you can go. Do I need to tell you to f off? Oh goodness gracious! Okay. Okay. F off. Okay. Grand face. Oh, the cops! God damn it! If I you think, don't fight well, me over your mean... call them. Okay. Motherfucker. Karen. You call them. You can call me Karen if you want to. I just did. Get me on video. Well, good. I, you... How many times do I have to tell you to f off? That's the second time. Okay. Right. Good. And okay. I told you a third one, and you still keep hounding. Are you done? Why are you, don't you call them now? Are you done? Are you done? Call them now. Are you done? No, I'm not. Are you done? I'm waiting you on you, man. For I, no, no, it's been a reason. Okay, I, no, it's not. Yeah. How many times do I see people out here walking their dog, not picking up their dog? They live here. I don't Next up is a video of a woman storming into a fast food establishment to complain about an employee who is being rude to her. She goes up to the front counter and shouts at the employee before throwing money at him. When the manager comes out to intervene, the customer gets even louder, asking for the employee to be fired. Let's check out this crazy clip. What? Yes, he just I got my friend. For no reason. Like, literally none. Hey, I know I want you. Come over here to me. You ain't never gonna come up in my face again, I promise you that. Nor will you slam something in my face. Do not speak to me like that. Excuse what? Excuse you? What's your issue? Like, what did no. he do to no, you? No, the f he's not gonna throw, he is not ever gonna throw no my him. stuff at me or slam it in my face. We don't know him. We don't know him. I need him to calm down. I didn't say nothing to him. He was not even our He forgot our stuff and he proceeded to close the door in my face and slam it and then threw it at me. Threw it in my face. Car. So you, he, I'm either going to call corporate or he needs to get fired today. After not getting what she had wanted, this next Karen starts to call the police on the employees at a fast food restaurant. This clip is absolutely crazy and we just had to feature it. So let's play the clip and take a look at this entitled Karen. And coming up next, we jump into the middle of a heated argument between two entitled customers and an employee who is just trying to do their job. After these two entitled customers had come into the store, not following the store's policies, the employee told them that they were not allowed to be served. This left the pair triggered and they started to lash out at the worker who was just following orders. Let's take a look. You know what? I'll start Dude, like, stop, stop talking, stop group? talking, stop talking you right now. Stop like fucking group? talking. Yeah. Don't say it, another word. I got it on video now. Mm -hmm. Now what do you want to say? Yeah, nothing. Listen to you. Yeah, you're Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm waiting right here. 
I am waiting right here. He shut his f***ing mouth when I turned my video on. Yeah. Because you're a child! We're allowed to. You suck. You're a child! You wait till you get pre charges pressed. You know, I'm going to tell everyone I know about this experience. I'm going to leave a ton of reviews about this experience. Dude, you guys are the only people that have given us this big oh, a yeah, deal about it. Oh, yeah, the only people. That's why you're saying, I'm not going to argue about it. You've had more than just us. No. no. Literally you. Okay. You, this is the not. biggest deal anybody has made of it. Everybody else yeah, shuts just, up and puts a mask on like a normal being human being. Worse. You're just being awful. That's okay. Yes. Dude, we have exemptions by law. Dude. The next up is a video of a woman who is harassing little kids for being on top of a tree. The woman keeps shouting at the children while holding onto her dog. When one of them goes inside to get their grandfather, the woman starts questioning the other kid about where he lives. Feeling creeped out about the question that he was just asked, this next kid puts this Karen in her place. Let's take a look at this hilarious moment. It is. It's it's on my friend's property. Right there. It's not illegal to be in here, so. Get off of the tree. It belongs to this street and this neighborhood, and we don't want kids on it. Why do you think these poles are there to help it? Because my fa my, my great grandpa up and down bought and running on it. Please get down. We're, we're not jumping around and running on it. We're we're sitting on it. I don't want you to even sit on it. Well, I want to go get my grandpa and see what he says. You fine. Go get your grandpa. Should I grab? Yeah. Just keep filming, okay? So where do you so where do you live? Who's your parents? I can't tell you that. Oh, you can't tell me that. I can't. Because that's my that's my personal that's my information. Oh, that's your personal information? Yeah. How'd you like it if a random stranger came up to your kid and asked them where they lived? And up next is a video of a Karen harassing another customer at a store by asking her what she had bought. After trying to hide from the customer's camera, Karen also took out her phone and started to record her while hiding behind security. The woman ended up being escorted out of the store. Let's take a look at this heated customer versus employee moment. Mm -hmm. What what did you ask me, ma'am? What I'm buying? It's none of your business what I'm buying. Okay. It's none of your business what I'm buying. Leave me alone. Now they, now I'm getting in trouble because you harassing me. Go to home. Oh, she pulling out her phone. Oh, I can not wait to meet a Karen. Oh, you just asking me what I'm buying, right? It's none of your business what I'm buying. And then you tell me to shut up. And now you want to record me. Right. And I'm buying electronics, by the way. It's none of her business, though, to come at me and tell me asking me what I'm buying. You so lucky they here. Girl, you lucky. So we just got walked out. Crazy white lady still inside at the pharmacy. Like I'm walking by her. I know she acting crazy. You can tell she is. Still in there. I'm like, why are we getting walked out by security? And she's still in there. And coming up next, we jump into some more drama between multiple employees and an entitled customer who refuses to abide by the store's policies. After being refused service, the entitled customer pulls out his video camera and starts to harass the workers. He says that he is a regular customer who has easily spent thousands of dollars at the store and goes on to say that he is furious. Just when the situation cannot get any worse, the man behind the camera then goes on to say that he is going to sue the store's owner and its employees for discrimination. So, so just for the record, you're refusing to serve me, is that correct? On this date, Krista, you're refusing to serve me, is that correct? On this date, February the 9th? Right. So for the record, here we are, February the 9th, I'm being refused service in this shop where I spent thousands of dollars because I'm not wearing a This is discrimination. I will be filing under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and every single person here is a witness that I was refused service on this day, February 9th, 2021. I will be filing on the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. You will be taken to court. This is hilarious, dude. Look, look at you. You're, 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 you're squishing away. You're squishing away. It's amazing. It's amazing. We are required by work safety. It's amazing. And this next male Karen is out on a walk with a dog when he finds himself in the middle of a heated altercation with a random woman on the street. Feeling threatened, the woman pulls out her video camera and starts to film the man for her safety. The man begins to explain that nobody's going to watch this video and starts to insult her intelligence. Ironically enough, the man then pulls out his phone and attempts to record her too. Let's check it out. You got me up against the car right now? Uh, yeah, are, you, no, you, are, are you up against the car? Can you back away from me? I'm sorry. Are you up against the car? 
Do you see him harassing me right now? I'm sorry. Okay. Ah, no one's no one's gonna pay attention to you. You're okay. you're you because you're dumb and you're you're a stupid uh blue and haired girl. Okay. Yeah. I fuck you. Are you okay with me? Fuck you. What? I was just, I was literally just standing here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. You know, hey, I, I can record you, you 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 dumb. I can record you too. I can record you. Hey, you see, you, you see how stupid you are? After having her vehicle crashed into, this next woman races out of her car and begins to confront the people who had hit her. Upon approaching the vehicle, the woman behind the camera notices that the male driver had quickly jumped into the passenger seat. His girlfriend is now in the driver's seat and is trying to say that not only was she the one driving, but then goes on to say that they had not crashed into the back of her car. The woman filming starts to call them out for their blatant lies. Let's take a look at this crazy clip. Did you hit it? You hit You guys hit it. No, it's the car. We didn't hit it. What do you mean you didn't hit? You guys tried to swim in. We didn't hit. Look at the back of the car. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? I didn't hit you. She hit. You didn't hit because you weren't driving. She was driving your car. Go look at the car. I was behind you, not in front of you. We recorded it. Okay, then show me. Because I was behind you, not in front of you. You swam in the lane. I understand you were. But I didn't hit your car. I you was did hit. Back. He hit. He was driving your well, car. You I weren't hit? driving. Where did I hit? Does he have a? And that is all we have time for tonight, guys, on this episode of Public Freak Out Videos. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on to never miss out on another brand new episode. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.